Hello students, welcome back to maths class. So we are dealing with the maxima and minima problems, little bit different. That means when compared to normal routine problems, these problems are little bit different. That means we can view the situation also with the diagrammatically right in these problems. So here come to the question right, 7 mass question. So a wire right. A wire of length L is cut into two parts, right, which are bent in the form of a square and circle. One wire is there with you, right. So it is cut into two parts, right. And after that, one part is bent into square form, another part is bent into circle form. So with wire, we can do it, isn't it? So and a circle. What are the lengths of pieces of wire? That means we have to find the length of this one, right? Nothing but a perimeter and length of a circle that means nothing but a circumference we have to find right so that the sum of areas is least right so here this is area least okay so so that sum of areas is least so we have to take area of square plus the area of circle that sum is least so come on first solution right l be the length of a wire right l b length it is given in the question length of wire okay so then it is cut into two parts right it is cut into two parts okay parts and bent into square and circle form square and circle form okay so we have taken the wire and cut into two parts one part is bent into square another part is bent into circle okay so now let y be side of a square right and r b radius of a circle of a circle ok. So now first perimeter of square right. So you take the first part as x, right? So x is equal to 4y, okay? The first part length is x, okay? Cut into two parts, right? Bent into square and circular form. So in that length L, first part length is x. So perimeter of the square total is nothing but x. Right, but we have taken one side as y. So perimeter means y plus y plus y plus y. It is 4y. Okay, so it is x by 4 is equal to y. Okay, so next the remaining part. Right, so remaining part. What is that? Remaining part of wire is first total L is there in that one part is X with that we made the square another part of the wire is L minus X what is that L minus X which shape we did with that L minus X we have taken the circle circle means circumference what is the circumference of the circle 2 pi r so this L minus X is equal to 2 pi r be clear I have taken in that L length two parts, first part length as x and I bent that x as a square of side y, right. So totally if we want to measure the length that x is nothing but y plus y plus y plus y that is 4y. So x by 4 is equal to y. Next the remaining wire. So total is L in that x is taken remaining means L minus x. So that L minus x with that wire 
I made a circle. What is the outer circle? Circumference of the circle that is 2 pi r. So, L minus x is equal to 2 pi r. So, L minus x by 2 pi is equal to r. Okay. So, question A is find the lengths. What are the lengths of the pieces of wire? That means, so what are the length of the square? What are the length of this? circle right so that sum of areas is least least minimum function is area so now we have to take sum of areas right sum of area right is equal to what is the meaning area of square right plus area of circle isn't it so, how we can take area is equal to area of a square with the side y, y square, isn't it? With the side x, x square. If uh, square is having the side x, its area formula is x square. Here you are having y, so it is y square, okay? Plus area of a circle, what is that? Pi r square. Okay, so is equal to what is y according to the given condition y is x by 4 and what is your r from the given condition l minus x by 2 pi. So, come on it is x by 4 whole square plus pi into r. What is r? It is l minus x by 2 pi whole square. So, it is x square by 16 plus pi into L minus x whole square by 4 pi square. Okay, 1 pi will get cancels and here you will have a is equal to x square by 16 plus L minus x whole square by 4 pi. Okay, so this is your area. So we saw that the area, some of the areas is the least. Least means minimum. So where this function attains minimum, so A attains, right? Attains maxima or minima, right? Minima at first derivative dA by function is in terms of x dx is equal to 0. So, come on is equal to d by dx of what is the value x square by 16 plus L minus x whole square by 4 pi. What I said inside the derivative if plus sign is there we have to take separate derivatives. So, come on d by dx of x square by 16 plus d by dx of l minus x whole square by 4 pi. Okay. So, is equal to we are finding dA by dx. Okay. So, is equal to what happens? This is 2x by 16 d by dx of x square. Here only we will write dA by dx. Okay, so so that it will be clear for you. So one by sixteen is constant, and d by dx of x square is two x plus one by four pi is constant. D by dx of l minus x whole square is two into l minus x into d by dx of l minus x. Okay, so is equal to two ones to eights. So x by eight plus Come on, 1 by 2 pi, 2 1s are 2, okay, 2 twos are L minus x into, so d by dx of letter 0, d by dx of x is 1, so is equal to pi by 8, this is 0 minus 1 is minus 1, so minus of plus is minus L minus x by 2 pi. This is our dA by dx. So, we have to equate dA by dx to 0. Then the function attains at that point either maximum or minimum. So, come on equate it. 
pi by 8 minus L minus x by 2 pi is equal to 0. So, implies pi by 8 is equal to L minus x by 2 pi, right. So, 2 1s are 2 4s are, okay. So, L minus x, okay. This is x by 8, not pi by 8, right. Be careful. So, this is x by 8, here also x by 8. So, x pi, right is equal to 4L minus 4X, just a cross multiplication, X pi into 4L minus 4X. Try to write all the X terms together. So, pi X generally constant into X we will write plus 4X is equal to 4L, right? X can be taken outside. So, pi plus 4 is equal to 4L. So, X is equal to 4L by pi plus 4 ok. So, at this point area attains either maximum or minimum. To know whether the area attains maximum or minimum we have to find d square a by dx square. So, come on find out d square a by dx square. So, d by dx of d a by dx. So, is equal to d by dx of dA by dx, where is our dA by dx, here it is x by 8 minus, right. So, x by 8 minus L minus x by 2 pi. So, whenever minus sign is there inside the derivative, we will take separated derivatives. So, it is d by dx of x by 8 minus d by dx of L minus x by 2 pi, ok. So, 1 by 8 is constant, d by dx of x is 1, right. So, your d square a by dx square is equal to 1 by 8 minus, come on, here 1 by 2 pi is a constant, d by dx of L minus d by dx of x, ok. So, is equal to 1 by 8 minus 1 by 2 pi into 0 minus 1, d by dx of x is 1, d by dx of L letter, right, derivative of letter is 0. So, 0 minus 1 is minus 1, minus of minus plus, so it is 1 by 8 plus 1 by 2 pi, both are positive, so greater than 0. So, d square a by dx square is greater than 0, therefore sum of areas is minimum, isn't it? Greater than 0, minimum, here in the question least, least minimum are same, maximum and greatest are same. In the question it is given that least, sum of areas is least, right? At which value we got it, right? We got x is equal to, right, 4L by pi plus 4. What is your x? One piece of wire, isn't it? In the total wire L, I said first part is x, right? And second part is L minus x, okay? So, therefore, length of, length of first part, right? Or first piece, first piece, P I E, right? Piece x is equal to 4L by pi plus 4. Next length of second part through which we made the circle, right? What is that? It is denoted by L minus x. So, L minus 4L by pi plus 4. So, what is the LCM? Pi plus 4 is the LCM. So, L into pi plus 4. So, it is pi L plus 4L minus 4L minus minus 
cancel is equal to pi l by pi plus 4 so two pieces are one two pieces length one piece length is x is equal to 4 pi by pi plus 4 and the second piece length is pi l by pi plus 4 that is the answer of your question okay so observe carefully one wire is there we cut the wire into two pieces and we bent the wires with a square and with a circle okay so we have to find the lengths of that square and circle when the sum of the areas is least least means minimum okay so here you consider the first part length is small x that is bent into the square of side y and the second part is total is l in that l we have taken x so remaining is l minus x so second part length is l minus x and it is bent into circular form okay so be careful while taking the formulas so perimeter of the square all the four sides length perimeter outer length right circumference of the circle outer right so it is 2 pi r so l minus x is with the second part we made that circle so 2 pi r with the first part we made the square of side y so 4 y is the total length okay so with that we got our r value y value try to write your areas in terms of only one function that is our aim right in all the problems they will give some clues with those clues try to write the given function in terms of only one variable so that we can differentiate with that variable so here your area is in terms of x so you can differentiate with respect to x okay so practice this problem perfectly seven marks problem most repeated seven marks problem okay that's all for today have a nice day